the name that's above every other name in your home there be heaven on earth yeah. our text will be Philippians chapter 2 from verse 9 to 11 Philippians 2 9 to 11 him him that means Jesus and giving him a name which is above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and the earth and the earth and that every And that every and that every tongue to the Father. Man by nature it has about three places. Heaven, earth, and hell. Three places. Hell <coughs> was originally, according to Matthew 25, verse 41. Verse 41. Hell was made for the devil and his angels. It's a place of punishment for the devil. Unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, a lot of human beings will be joining them there. As a matter of fact, according to Isaiah 5, verse 14, Isaiah 5, verse 14, Hell has become enlarged. It was originally a special prison for the devil and his angels. But now, many human beings are there. But I decree in the name that's above every other name, you will not go to hell. Yeah. And then, of course, Mass interested in heaven or should be because according to Matthew 6 verse 9, Matthew chapter 6 verse 9, but in heaven, there's a place called heaven. It's where our father lives. It's what Jesus Christ referred to as my father's house. In John chapter 14, from verse 1 to 3. John 14, 1 to 3. And according to Isaiah 66, verse 1, Isaiah 66, verse 1, heaven is where the throne of God is. We make it to Man's life on earth was to be like heaven. Everything man can ever need, God created them before creating man. He prepared everything. It will amaze you when you read Genesis chapter 2 from verse 10 to 12. Genesis 2 from verse 10 to 12. That God even made sure 
that there was gold in the Garden of Eden. I mean, the first time I read that passage, I said, why? I mean, when he created man, man was even naked. Man wasn't wearing clothes until they sing. So why the gold? What's the gold for? Oh, then I understand that in heaven, the streets are made of gold. Revelation 1 verse 21, Revelation 21 verse 21. The streets of heaven, they are made of gold. So maybe God is saying that, well, one of these days, Adam and Eve may say, we do want to tar our roads. And he prepared the gold that they may need for it. When God made man originally, man had incredible strength. I mean, unbelievable strength. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. Genesis 2 verse 15 said, God puts man in charge of the Garden of Eden to take care of it. Now, Bible scholars tell us when they describe the size of Eden, the Garden of Eden is as big as legal state. So to put one man in a gate that is the size of Lagos State, that man must be very, very strong. Not only that, at the very beginning, man had incredible mental ability. I mean, you read Genesis chapter 2 from verse 19 to 20. Genesis 2, verse 19 to 20, you discover that without going to any university, Adam will beat any professor of zoology. Every animal that God made, it was Adam that named And he didn't go to school. The brain was super. He was made to be a king. Man was made to be a king. You read Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 to 28. He was supposed to have dominion over everything, every living thing. And that's why you find that up to today, man can tame any animal. Lion, tiger, whatever. Man can teach them to become obedient. But then man lost it all. He lost the earth to the devil. In Genesis chapter 3, you can read it from verse 1 to the end. Genesis 3, 1 to the end. He disobeyed God. And God kicked him out of the Garden of Eden. And from that moment, Satan took over. In Genesis chapter 4, you can read it from verse 1 to 11. Genesis 4, 1 to 11. When Satan was tempting the Lord Jesus Christ, he told him, I own it all. <laughs> I can't give it to you. All you need to do is bow down and worship me. Now, I, I, I don't want to say just brief introduction. What we are interested in is how do we bring heaven back to earth for you as an individual? It's very simple. You can get heaven to operate on earth for you all by cooperating with Jesus Christ. How? In the text that I read to you, God has given him a name that is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Of things 
in heaven, of things on earth, of things even underneath the earth. In other words, there is someone who is in control of heaven, control of earth, and even in control of hell. If you need heaven to intervene in your affairs on earth, all you need to do is call a name. And I will just give you one or two examples. I'm sure by now you know the summer is not going to be long because it's introduction to the convention. If you find yourself facing a crisis on earth and you want heaven to intervene, by the time you call on the Lord Jesus Christ, because he's the controller of everything in heaven, all the angels, whatever he has to teach to you on earth, he will do it. If you find yourself facing a crisis here on earth, that nobody on earth can help you handle. That will need intervention of heaven to get you out of that crisis. All you need to do is call a name. Yeah. I will remind those of you who have heard this story before of a story. Those of you who have never heard it before, you hear it now. I was traveling from Ibadan to Ilori. My driver was driving me between Oboma Shore and Ilori. There, is this, there was this bridge. I think they have expanded it now. Very narrow bridge over a very deep river. The bridge was so narrow, it cannot take two vehicles at the same time. So that when you are approaching the bridge, you slow down. Because if there's already a, a vehicle on the other side, you have to stop. That was how narrow it was. When we were going, we won the bridge first. By the time we entered to the bridge, there was no vehicle coming from the other side. But by the time we were half, almost halfway through, there came a trailer from the lorry side. Whether he didn't see us, I don't know. Whether his brake didn't work, I don't know. But he was coming straight at us. And we had to choose. Do we want to die through head-on collision? Or go and die in the river below? There was no time to pray. But there was enough time to shout a name. You see, when you are sitting comfortably in the church, or you are having a nice time in the house, and somebody asks you to shout Jesus, you don't shout. But when unexpectedly you find yourself face to face with death, you are not a gentleman at that time. You are not a chief at that time. Yeah. 
So I shouted. My driver shouted. But that's the only thing we could do. No time to pray. Banana leaf. Fortunately, he didn't look back because I was shaking more than himself. <laughs> By the time he could talk, I had cooled down. He turned to me and said, Daddy, what happened? I said, Jesus, Jesus expanded the bridge. And he said, wonderful. And he kept on saying, wonderful, wonderful, till we got to Elohim. I said, yeah, that's his name. His name shall be called. Do you need a wonder today? Let me hear you shout, Jesus. You might be on earth. Minding your own business. And hell might show up to try and disrupt your life. If all of a sudden, and don't ever sit down there believing that there are no evil forces. <laughs> there are. It so be a joke for you to say there's nothing called witches, nothing called wizards. <laughs> Somebody said that one on BBC some years ago. I was interviewing a Nigerian. I said, hey, you people talk about witches and wizards. There's nothing like that. The Nigerian said, thank God you are saying it in England. Come and say it in Lagos. And we will see what will happen. Don't let anybody deceive you. The spiritual controls the physical. There are forces of good. There are forces of evil. And at times you will find that either through your provocation or without, forces of darkness may want to come to attack you. Might be just because you are making progress. Might be because all is well with you. In that situation, <clears throat> in that situation, all you need to do to bring heaven down on earth to deal with the forces of darkness is called a. <laughs> Because this name is the name that's above every other name. It's the name that the things in heaven must bow to, things on earth must bow to, things underneath the earth must bow to. I will tell you just one story. And very soon we'll be closing. One boy got born again. I don't want to mention the name, but it doesn't matter. Any learning. And um, was very zealous. The mother happened to be the chief among the witches over there. Mother belonged to several cults. And when he got born again, he took all the idols, everything in the mother's house and burnt them. The mother came back to discover that all her idol charms had been burnt and she got very angry and went to their coven and told them, this is what my son had done. I can't kill him myself. Help me finish him. And the boy was in the house Mama had gone. Mama says she won't be coming back that day. So the boy locked the door and windows. And uh, he was about to pray. And all of a sudden, through the locked doors, true story, through the locked door, a huge dog, black dog, 
covered from head to toe with charms, came through the door. Fortunately, this boy was already on his knees. He was just about to pray to go to bed. And then he lifted his, his eyes and saw the dog coming. He had enough time to shout a name. And suddenly something like a thunderbolt hit the dog and he dropped down dead at the feet of the boy. May I decree to somebody here today, anything that the enemy is sending against you will die at your feet. Want heaven on earth? Call the name of Jesus. We're not talking theory. We will be discussing heaven in detail this week by the grace of God. Don't stay at home. Come and learn. They say I tell stories. It's because I've been through a lot. I know that when we talk about succeeding on earth, you need heaven. You need the angels to come and support you. You need the forces of heaven to fight your battles for you. Check the history books. It will tell you that during the Second World War, when Hitler came to bomb London, and the Royal Air Force went into the air to go and face his own bombers, it was reported reported that when the soldiers when the, the, the air force boys looked out of their windows they saw angels fighting with them fact of history if you need serious protection particularly at a moment of crisis you need heaven to come to earth. And the only way to do it, call on the one who controls heaven, who controls earth, who controls earth. I'm going to give you an opportunity because you can't call that name and get results if we don't belong to him. When you read Act of the Apostles, chapter 19, from verse 11 to 17, Acts 19, from 11 to 17, when some people told a demon possessed fellow, when they said, The demon in you will command, get out. In the name of Jesus, the Paul preaches. The devil said, The devil, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Paul is a Christian. But who are you? It's not just anybody who can use the name. Don't wait till you have a crisis before you surrender your life to Jesus Christ. I'll tell you one more story of somebody who went from hell all the way to heaven on earth. Great lawyer. <laughs> Again in a lorry. You know, I was in lorry for a while. Very brilliant. He just kept on winning cases upon cases. And the enemy attacked him. The whole thing started as an ordinary headache. But little by little, he discovered 
He couldn't lift one hand. Then he couldn't lift another hand. Then the one leg. Then another leg. He became paralyzed from neck downwards. The brain was still there, as brilliant as ever. But he couldn't even clothe himself. Then he gave his life to Jesus. Oh, we've been talking to him before, but uh, he thought that Christianity is for those of us who are not learned. When the devil grabbed him, he discovered <laughs> that there's something beyond human knowledge. And he gave his life to Jesus Christ. And in a very dramatic manner, he recovered completely. He moved from hell all the way to heaven. He's alive and well today, doing well. But don't wait till you have a crisis. Because if God is not in your boat when the crisis comes, the boat will sink. So I'm appealing to those of you who might be here today and you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. Come and do so now. That's the only way you can bring heaven down to earth at a time of need. <laughs>